Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate or move your physical or virtual machine workloads to Microsoft Azure. So we're going to use Veeam Backup and Replication to migrate your workloads. Veeam Backup and Replication provides a one month free trial, so you can use that. Or if you have an install base of Veeam Backup and Replication, then go ahead with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a backup using Veeam Backup and Replication. It can be a VMware virtual machine, Hyper-V virtual machine or a physical server. Once you backed up, you can restore or recover this virtual machine to Microsoft Azure. This can be done in two ways. You can use a Azure proxy to backup and to restore your uh, virtual machine or physical workload to Microsoft Azure. That's going to help you to recover it more faster than the traditional method. So I'm going to show you both method in this video and the scope of this video is just to show you how to recover your uh, virtual machine or your physical workload from Veeam Backup and Replication. So I'm not going to show you how to install Veeam Backup and how to backup your virtual machines uh, from vCenter or Hyper-V. So we're going to start from a full backup. So just prepare a full backup from your side and just follow my video to recover or to restore your virtual machine to uh, Microsoft Azure Cloud. So the prerequisites that you need to uh, do this, you need a Veeam backup and replication to be installed in your environment. Then you need a cloud subscription from Microsoft Azure. Then a full backup of a virtual machine uh, from VMware or Hyper-V machine or a, back a backup of your physical workload. So once you have a complete full backup of your workload, whether it is a virtual machine from Hyper-V, VMware or a physical machine, then your Azure Cloud subscription is ready. Then you can restore this backup to Microsoft Azure. And for this, there are two options. You can use Azure Proxy. So that will help you to speed up the recovery process or you can choose a direct method also. In the first option that you see in the architecture is a configuring Azure proxy for recovering your virtual machine from Veeam backup to Microsoft Azure. So this is applicable in some cases. You may find uh, Microsoft Azure restore may take a long time uh, because of the network connection slowness. So to speed up the restore process, it is highly recommended to deploy Azure proxy in your backup infrastructure, which is a small machine uh, that will help you to uh, restore the machine, your virtual machine and VM disk data to blob storage uh, far better than the normal method. So Veeam components installed on Azure proxy will help you to compress and deduplicate the disk data and which helps to reduce the network traffic and increase the speed of the restore process. So it is strongly recommended that you to configure Azure proxy in your backup infrastructure uh, because it does not require a lot of uh, resources and it can speed up the restore process uh, significantly. So let's move to the demonstration. We're going to see how to restore a virtual machine to Microsoft Azure. So the steps involved in the restoration process is you need to add your Azure credentials. Then we're going to add Azure proxy that is not mandatory. If you want, you can add. Otherwise, you can skip. It's an op option uh, that provided by Veeam recovery just to speed up the recovery process. Then we're going to create a resource group, network group and blob storage in Azure cloud. Then we start restoration of virtual machine to Azure. Then from the Azure, we're going to verify the virtual machine. The first step we're going to do here is to add our Microsoft Azure Cloud credentials. For that, go to Options, then click on Manage Cloud Credentials. Then from here, you can add your Microsoft Azure Compute Account choose whether it is a global or based upon your region you can choose most probably it's global then you can create an account from here by going to manage account you can add the credentials here then click OK then click next 
so it will show you what are the subscriptions uh, available with your uh, azure account and uh, you can choose these subscriptions to push your virtual machine from your backup to azure so the cloud credentials are ready now once you complete with the cloud credential setup the next step we're going to do is to create azure resources so here is a microsoft azure dashboard and i'm going to create a new resource from here uh, you can choose your subscription here then a resource group name here i just put veeam recovery one and the region is central us i'm going to create it Now the resource group has uh, created. Once you refresh, uh, you will see here. Now let's go and create a virtual network for this resource group. Create a virtual network. Then you have to make sure here that you have choose the same location what you have uh, uh, selected in the resource group creation. So I'm going to name here VNet1. Then address space, the one we just created, I put the same address range, then create. Now the virtual network is ready. The next step is to create a storage account here. Create a storage account. Then we're going to choose the same resource group, storage account name, location should be same, so central US okay and then uh, let it be same default settings click to create you can see the deployment progress from here now let us create azure proxy from veeam backup to add azure proxy select backup infrastructure then you can see add proxy option from the select azure so once you click on add azure proxy the a wizard will open for you and you can write some name that is going to be the virtual machine name in uh, azure and this credential means the credential for azure proxy so you need to add a credential here new credential that's going to be the credential for your azure proxy then click ok then click next here you can choose your subscription and the location for Azure proxy. Then click next. So from here you can choose the VM size. Uh, you don't need to change uh, unless uh, it's a big environment. And the storage account which is what we just created in the previous uh, step. And select the resource group where you want to place the Azure a proxy then put a DNS name label then click next so here you have to choose the virtual network uh, I just have only one virtual network in that resource group then once you click next it's gonna apply the configuration to your Azure so Azure proxy virtual machine deployment is progressing Now the deployment of Azure Proxy VM has completed. In the next step, we're going to restore or recover our virtual machine to Azure Cloud. Now to restore your virtual machine to Microsoft Azure, you need a full backup. So this is a full backup of a VMware virtual machine. Just right click and restore to Microsoft Azure. As we have configured the resource group, network and credential, everything here, you just need to complete the wizard. Here you can choose a proxy, Azure proxy, but it is not mandatory. It will just help you uh, to improve the restore performance as I explained in the beginning. Then select the VM size here. You can choose one of the best size that fit for your virtual machine. Then click OK then click next so all the 
parameters that you see here is the one we created in the Azure uh, just before we come to this step. So if you have existing resource group, you don't need to go for that. You can use that also. Then here you have to choose a network for your virtual machine. So this is the network that we created in the previous step. Then click OK. Then click Next. You can go for a scan for malware, but it's not uh, necessary for me because I'm just doing this for a demonstration purpose. And you can give a restore reason here. Just give something, then click Next. Then initiate the restore. Now you can see uh, starting restore job and the statistics you can see from here. So once you complete the restore process, then minimize all these and go back to your Azure portal. Now you can see Azure proxy here. This is the virtual machine that created by uh, Veeam uh, for speed upping the process. And this is the virtual machine that we just restored. I'm going to take an RDP session so that I can see everything is fine. Now you got your machine up and running from cloud. So what you see as Azure Proxy is the virtual machine that we pushed by uh, Veeam when we create Azure Proxy and that's going to speed up the restoration process. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe our YouTube channel.